My name is Monica Talevi and I work for the European Space Agency. European Space Agency which is taking care of developing a space program for Europe. Uh, at the European Space Agency we have a, a very nice uh, education program. It's uh, an activity that uh, is our duty to do, uh, but also is our mission to do. We really believe in it as a, as a mission. Um, quality education in particular is our mission. So uh, what we mean by quality education is an education which is Le uh, centered in the learner, uh, which uh, makes sure that uh, the, the final beneficiary of this uh, is, is, is the learner. What we want to get is an, a, a generation of uh, students, of youngsters, who are uh, better prepared to face the challenges of today and tomorrow. Uh, so that's why we, uh, what, whatever we do in education, we do it by concentrating on the latest research uh, on, on education, uh, we do it uh, by making sure that the teachers are the first ones to be formed because thanks to good teaching you also get uh, good, uh, good results from your students. We believe very much in inspiring our students and that's why we enter in the loop. At the European Space Agency we run such a fantastic space program uh, and we know that space is so inspirational for teachers that we think by combining good quality education, being centered on the teachers and making sure that our methodologies are based on the learners, all of this uh, using space as a context is a very successful tool. Um, at ESA, our, we have an education program which is really targeting all age groups, starting from uh, the juniors, really preschool age, until university levels. And of course, uh, being so different uh, target ages, we have to run uh, different programs, but we cannot uh, touch all of them with the same kind of programs. As far as uh, primary and secondary education, uh, in particular, uh, we have uh, specific projects, uh, one of which is called EZERO, European, European Space Education Resource Office, which is really concentrating on training the teachers. Training the teachers to the use of space uh, as an educational context to, to, um, to let them teach in the classroom science, technology, engineering and mathematics, what we call the STEM uh, disciplines in, in, in jargon. Uh, this uh, zero concept is based on the fact that because uh, Europe has so many countries with so many educational systems which are different from each other, you cannot, cannot really have a recipe that fits them all uh, at once. So what you want to do is to uh, establish, and that's what we did, establish local offices, national offices, which are very well embedded uh, in the education, local educational communities, which have a very strong link with the researchers in education and with the ministries of education in order to pro propose really teacher training, uh, classroom resources and propose for classroom activities uh, that can be really fit uh, the national needs, fit the national curricula and uh, be effective tools. In order to create, let's say, informed citizens and also competent people, uh, competent and educated people, of course you need to target all, uh, all age groups. Uh, of course you do it differently according to, to the age group you are talking to. Uh, but uh, also I would like to stress uh, that even if uh, university uh, students are very important, but of course, uh, and, and, and we do run programs with them, of course they're already converted to the study of science and technologies. So in fact we can support them to get a better career in the future, to be more prepared for the work, for when they will be part of the workforce. But where we really have to invest, and that's why we really think it's very important, where we have to invest is in the younger uh, target groups. We need to invest when you're young, when it's, it is the time where your uh, concept of science and technologies is formed, uh, where you are going to take decisions about what careers you are going to uh, start in the future. And uh, that's why we think that even if all levels are important, primary and secondary education, especially primary education, is really the target to hit the most. At ESA, we believe very much, uh, let's say, uh, that uh, education is, must really be for all. We fight continuously a daily battle against all, all, uh, all uh, preconceptions uh, about the fact that science is for all people and for men uh, especially. We really believe that the intelligence is the same in girls and boys. Uh, they just express themselves in different manners. Uh, but we pay a lot of attention to the gender balance uh, question. Uh, our experience is that when you talk to very young children, uh, namely at elementary school, primary school, 
uh, actually the, the difference between boys and girls is still not formed and if you hit them at that age you can easily enthuse them to sciences and to technology in the same manner. It's a little bit later if you haven't intervened before where you have to adjust a little bit of pre preconceptions and so we really pay attention to that and for instance we do extensive use of role models uh, especially to, to help girls to, to be less afraid uh, of sciences and technologies. They usually tend to think they are less capable than boys even when they are not at all, as they are mark, as they marks actually show it. Uh, we use a lot of role models to let them understand that women are exactly capable as men uh, in science, that there are many women, especially young women, young scientists, young engineers working for science, having fantastic lives and enjoying very much what they do. So we really pay a lot of attention to this.